Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Art Tutorials. My name is Lydia and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create curly hairstyle in Blender 2.82. Let's get started. We'll be using this scene for this tutorial and as you can see, this is the hairstyle we'll be making. So let me go to the scene. So this is the hairstyle. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to hide this and recreate the hairstyle from scratch. So I'm going to come here, select the mesh and I'm going to hide this. So this is what I use in creating the this cap. This. You can actually use, you can actually create it using a skin, but I love to separate the air from the main mesh. So we'll be using this scalp for that. So to create a hairstyle, then what you have to do is just go to the particle system settings, which is this, and click on the plus icon. The plus icon is to create a new air system. So I'm going to click on it to create. So right now it's on air meter. So you switch to air. So this is all we have by default. This is crazy. So I'm going to reduce the length from 40. So let's say from 400 to let's say 40. Uh, I think this is good enough. So let me reduce the thickness of each strand. So you come down here to air shape. So the diameter right now, diameter root is 100. So I'm going to reduce it to um let's say 10 okay let me give it like five for now you can still reduce or increase it later so let me leave it at that then the next thing to do is number of a right now is on 1000 so let me reduce it to 500 so these things are not important but you can always add more and reduce when you go to particle edit that's you go to click on tab or control tab depending on your settings and click select the particle system so this is all we have let me go to the typos yeah so now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to symmetrize this here so that anything i do to half of the air will be mirrored to the other side so i'll come to particles mirror so this might not work if the mesh itself is not symmetrical. So I'll go to edit mode and click on N to bring out this dialog box, this dialog sidebar window and go to two. So it's, make sure your mirror is active. So when you do that, you can now go to particles, select all particles, mirror so you see now it's going to mirror so make sure you select everything and click on mirror and make sure your mirror is active in your mesh and make sure mirror is also active here to have to be able to work so when i comb this part it's going to comb the other parts but this is not how i'm going to work i'm going to delete half of the air work on half then mirror to the other side later on so i'm going to go to front view which is one and select half of the air so let me deselect then see so select about half of the air then x to delete oh let me deactivate mirror x to delete so i've deleted half of this now i can start grooming the air so i'm going to use this comb to comb this down so f to reduce the radius of the comb so with that i'm going to just comb this down to get the style that you want so i won't be precise with this this is just a tutorial so you can just go ahead with whatever style that you want so let's say I'm okay with this. Then the front part, you can control click. You can control click to select a strand. Hold down shift to select another 
So I'm going to select all this. Then use Ctrl Plus to select the select it to the root to increase the selection. So you can just come this forward and bring it down. That's if you don't want to comb everything at once. So let's say I'm okay with this. So now I can I want to add more to the center of the air. So I'm going to click on plus, go to front view, and add a strand here. You can create, you can edit this, uh, the property of new air strand by going to end panel. I reduce my count to one. You can increase it if you want. I think by default it's on ten. But I love to work one strand at a time. Then the step, the keys is the number of subdivision. Like this is ten. So if I reduce this and I click on and I create a new A, let me reduce this to one and create a new A. See the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can reduce it to let's say three. So we are very clear. See one, two, three. So let me take it back to ten and undo what I've done. Or I can just C to select, X to delete. So I'm okay with this. So I'm going to add a here in the center so it's well aligned. So let's say this is okay. Let's say I'm okay with this. I'm going to click on C to select. Control plus to select to the root and just comb it down. And I can increase the length, which is length. And keep combing it. So for this video, I think this is okay. So now to the settings, let me cut. So let's say for this video, this is okay for what we want to do. So the next nice thing to do now is I'm go to object mode. This is where we are. If you see, it's not as smooth as what we add in the particle edit. It's smooth. It's smoother than what it looks in the object mode. So I'm going to go to the settings and go to um viewport display so we, the strand step is on two which is what we have here so i will increase this to seven so don't forget to increase it for the render too because if you don't increase this when you render out it's going to have the rough um look to it so increase this two to seven so you have the same thing on that render and the viewport and to change the material you go to render and this is where you select the material that means if you have multiple materials you can select the particular one that you want from here so with that said let's go to the settings right now the air is in none which means is one strand at a time so when i click on sample and uh, when i click on simple you see it's increased <laughs> this is crazy so now the first thing i'm going to do is reduce the radius of air per strand so right now we have Per each strand, we have 10, 10 per strand. So, and the distance around each strand is 20 centimeters. So, I'm going to reduce this to, let me say three. So, per strand, per strand, we have 10, and the radius for each one is three. So, you can still reduce it. See? 
okay let me leave it at 26 so this is what we have then the next thing to do now is to get the curly hair you go under roughness not roughness under kink and click on coil so this is where we how we get our coil right now this is not what we need so we're going to reduce the amplitude from 20 centimeter to 0 0.5 which was the settings I used for the last one, but we can't really say anything. So we increase the frequency of how much coil we have. So I'm going to reduce the frequency to 30. So why the amplitude is how big or how small the coil is. The frequency is how is how much step of coil that you have. While the amplitude is how thick or how thin the coil is going to be like so the flatness we increase the shape of each one so i'm going to leave it at point let's say point six so right now this is what we have is similar to to this in a way then this is what we have right now so now i'm going to mirror it to the other side so we see clearly so I'm going to go to particles A to select everything, particles, mirror. So right now, we have this. So I'm not going to comb this anymore. I'm just going to leave this so you can just style it anyhow you want from your end. Don't forget to activate the X mirror so it's transfer it to the other side. Okay, let's just say we are okay with this. So to now to get the noise right now it's looking too perfect. So to add more noise to the air, we are going to tweak the roughness. So right now it's too uniform. So you can just reduce this to 0.5 and increase this. So this is too much roughness. So I'm going to reduce this to let's say 0 0.01 which was the settings I used for the last one and can just play around with the settings to just make it less perfect so I'm going to enter the same value I entered for the last style. so I'm going to leave this at 0 0.17 while this is at 9.7 this is at 0 0.1 and the threshold is at 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So the end point is responsible for the tip of the air. So right now, if I increase the end point, you see how crazy it's looking. So when you want to deal with the end point, this is what you use. And the shape is how much influence it has. Let me show you now. Let me increase this. And if I increase the shape, If I reduce the shape rather, see, it's increasing how much it influences the air. So if this, the, if this is the kind of air style you want, this should work. I'm going to, I even like it this way. I'm going to leave it like this, with this crazy tip. I'm going to leave it like this. So it depends on the air style you want. So by tweaking the roughness, you're going to get something nice. While the random, let me increase the random so you see. It's going to randomize the air. quite slow it's not responding fast okay let me use okay it's not going to show because of the threshold okay let me reduce the threshold so right now the random is at 0 0.3 if i increase it it's going to go more crazy so let me reduce this let me right click to cancel so right now it's affecting the air so when you increase the threshold, when you reduce it, it's going to affect less of the air. So right now, the, the random is affecting half of the air, which is 0.5, and it's not affecting half of the air. So this is how you make it more random or less random. So let me return this back to the previous settings, which is 0 0.1, so it's not too crazy. So those are the settings. 
so you know what inform does add noise random mix just randomize the shape while add points deal with the tip of the air so that's it for this video and the next thing i'm going to do if you look at this air see that the tip is thick it's not as light as this so what i did was instead of making the tip is zero i gave them this i gave it the same size have you seen the same width but the last one i used was three three so i just gave it the same width you might not like this you might just go with let's say two or one so it depends on what you want the kind of hairstyle that you need for your character so the first values I enter were the one I used for that, but this is another extra we are getting. So that's it for this video. I hope you've gained one or two things from this. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, click on the notification bell to get notified every time we upload videos like this. And until next time, stay true to your creativity. Bye bye.